Hey, in this video, we're going to show you the three things that you need to set up off canvas helper on your next project. So right here, I have just a basic project in blocks and I have a menu bar at the top with a footer down here at the bottom and some placeholder content in the middle. Now, the three things that we need to add to our project are the off canvas helper brick, the off canvas block, and we need to assign an element or a button to be the trigger for our menu. And this is the button that I have here. Um, it's just a blank button and it has no interactions assigned. It's just assigned, oh, we can change that to none. It's got no interactions assigned to it at all. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna come down the bottom here and we can actually place the brick and the block in any part of this uh, page that we like. Um, I like to keep the brick at the bottom and add the menu um, block at the very top of the project. So I'm going to add a block down the bottom here, a single column one. And the first thing I'm going to do is remove all the padding across breakpoints so it doesn't interfere with our design. So uh, to do that, I can go to the extra small breakpoint and change the padding to the block to none and come back to the large one and that will be applied across all our breakpoints. Now I'm going to add our off canvas brick to this block and there we have it, our off canvas block, a brick with all our options on the right hand panel. The next thing we're going to do is add our off canvas block. Now when you downloaded the off canvas helper package uh, you would have received two block files that you can add to your project as starters and um, if I just open up here you'll see that one of them would have been called off canvas bare bones and the other one was off canvas basic with social footer. That's the one that we're going to add to this example project. Right, there we have it. Okay, so now we have our off canvas block, our off canvas brick down here. Uh, I should point out too, if, if you add the block before the brick, uh, let me remove the brick just to show you, you won't be able to see the off canvas block menu displayed. So there's a little bit of magic that happens with the brick to make it all usable on the off uh, on the blocks canvas. So let me add the brick back and there we have our menu back again. Okay, so if you add the block and you find you can't see anything, you've forgotten to add the off canvas brick. Okay, so if we go and preview that, uh, we're not going to be able to see much at all because we've got no way of accessing our menu or, uh, or calling it to action because our menu hasn't been assigned. Now, with Off Canvas Helper, we've made this really easy. All we need to do is assign a single class to any button or element on the page. So I've got this button menu here, and I'm gonna give it a class called Off Canvas hyphen toggle. Off Canvas hyphen toggle, and that's all I need to do. Now if I go preview this, and we click our button, we're gonna see our menu appear. It's as simple as that. So those are the three things you need to get started. Uh, add an off canvas block, add the off canvas brick, and then assign a toggle button to activate our off canvas menu.